Take three. And turn over. The film's basically wish fulfillment of all the things that I wanted to do when I was the age of the character and didn't do. Is she? She's beautiful. Well, the origins of the film come from our director, John's experience of his childhood. You'll be the new land then. <laughs> Shut up! When I was 12 and 13, we were kind of broke, and I was in this rough school, and there were a lot of kids who wanted to beat me up, and, you know, didn't get where I was coming from, and I thought it would be cool to sort of just explore that a little bit with this kid. And that's what the film begins. Dance. Dance. Dance! Really what the film is about is that no matter what's happening to you when you're a kid, the bully would be after you, you hadn't done your homework, you didn't get the girl, but you had your music in your headphones and you were okay. We wanted to write songs that felt like they'd been written in the 80s. In a sense, I think the 80s really were the last true decade. That just didn't sound like anything before. So when we were doing the music, it was like, we wanted the songs to be as good as an 80s song, as catchy and as hooky as an 80s song, but good in their own right. You just keep practicing that one day your head, it's like, it just knows how to do it. John's a bit of a big child, really. Check it out. He's obviously such a talented guy, and I had complete faith in him. And I'm like, on the... Yeah, perfect. He's so different to any other director I've worked with. Like, especially because it's his script. He wrote it so he can do what he likes with it. When he's pulling you back in, it's like my hat. And if something doesn't feel right, then he's like, oh, okay, great, great, great. Just don't do that then. What do you think? And it allows you so much more freedom to be really honest with this character. Look, there's the ferry heading to England. When I was a kid, there's one girl who used to carry her bag kind of like a baby and she was like sultry and she was 13 and I was 12. I passed her every day, but I never had the nerve to go up and ask her, you know, who she was. So the film is about what is it like to go up to somebody when you're that young and make an introduction. Have we been down the square already? Uh, no. And you're going across to this girl and you don't know what's gonna happen next. You know, it's almost like your whole being sort of pops at that moment, you know? And I just kept on remembering that feeling every day that I was on the set. Okay. Very good, again! You are truly on a hero's journey. Are you up to that? I think she's just an amazing human being. So, by making this movie, I get to get the girl, I get to form the band, and I get to basically fulfill all the things that I couldn't do as a wimpy kid. <laughs> No woman can truly love a man who listens to Phil Collins.